Hey everybody, it's day 172. Um, sorry for the sweatiness, but I just finished running. Um, ran about a mile and a half on concrete today. Um, first time, which is surprising. I've been hitting the treadmill about three times a week, running on the treadmill two and a half miles. Huge difference between running on the treadmill and running on concrete, as you know. <clears throat> I didn't know it was that much of a difference Obviously, the, the grounding and pounding is different. However, your movement of your foot is quite a bit different. And um, as you can see, my neighborhood is pretty flat. Um, so, it's, you know, a little bit, there is one section right here, there's a little bit of incline, but for the most part, it's flat. And um, my Achilles wasn't burning or anything like that, but it just felt a little weak. It's interesting it's an interesting feeling it's not and it's not because it's so much that it is weak um, because I think it's pretty strong at this point I just think that it needs strengthening um, the muscle there and the tendon there are just you know there's just there's no real muscle in there because of the limited use so um, and you know I'm a little wore out a mile and a half and I averaged about 10 minutes 20 seconds on that mile which um, it's not, you know, that's a real, real gradual jog. I normally average about nine minutes, nine minute miles, you know, when I go long distance, you know, I'll do nine minute miles, you know, so sometimes it'll be under nine minutes, sometimes it'll be over nine minutes, depending on the mile. So, um, you know, that's, it's a little bit, not really a setback, but it's a little, uh, a little frustrating, um, but, I'm gonna start running now um, on the concrete. I see that it needs to be done. But other than that, um, you know, recovery's been going pretty good. I will give a, uh, a, not a shout out, but a recognition of the shoes that I bought. I bought these shoes specifically for my recovery. It was kind of a, a present to me uh, when I started jogging again that I was going to use these. I bought some Hoka's. Um, and these are the Hoka's Clayton 2's. These are them right here. Get a side picture of it. They're good looking. Hoka Clayton 2's. Good looking super comfortable um they're not as light as my newtons but they're darn close and um i've enjoyed them because they're really soft so i don't feel that grounding and pounding um so i recommend those or any kind of thick hokas when you're doing your recovery you want as little grounding and pounding as possible and with these hokas uh they're um the hokas are, are spelt um h-o-k-a just in case if you're wondering but so anyway so yeah i would recommend those when you uh, when you start jogging again but um everything else is going pretty good no setbacks i went on a week um vacation to belize and i was belize and costa maya and um went on the beach so it was kind of uneven, rocky surfaces, and I did well. It was um, not a big problem. So recovery's going pretty good. Don't have a whole lot to report except for this this jogging um, situation here, and um, I'll keep y'all posted on that. But other than that, it's going pretty good. Talk to y'all later. Bye.